Oops. You know what? Sorry. I had those, I had this reversed. They need to come up front like that and pop in. Okay. Next step here. We might as well just go across here and link this in. So we're gonna pop this front across. Boom, now that makes it nice and sturdy. Now, back to these. Boom. And from this step, we're going to set it aside. Well, this piece, you can pop that on. Set that aside. Now, we're going to want to take the motor. Now the motor, take one of these gears with that little knob on it. Take one of these spacers, stick it on, 22, uh, 24 gear uh, tooth gear, stick that in, boom. Now what we need to do is attach this motor into here. So what we'll be using is a variety of these babies. This is for, these are for the rear, these are for the front. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to make two of these. So this is a little L bracket right here with a little black piece there. And this is a red uh, number two. So pop that on. And uh, you want to make a corresponding uh, one for the other side. And then for this one, you want the same L, but you want to use uh, a blue one and a little number two red and you want to use a half space you could actually make it both the same i just did it for a little bit more clearance so boom boom just like that then we take the motor set it in just like so hit that little black stub put it in like so same thing on this side doing we need one more black stud. Move it over. Take one side off. This other side get the rear in here so stick that in go back now we're gonna get this other one in stick that in there we go Boom. there we go Okay, so now you got the extra large motor in, and the front's still a little sloppy right here, right now. So we're gonna do some more building up here. Well, actually, it's let's do it. So we're gonna have more of the suspension, and these are front. These pieces are for the front, and then we're gonna build this right here. This piece right here consists of four of these L's. One uh, stud put right here in the middle. Uh, a number two at uh, that bottom here. Just put those two together. And you're gonna build the same thing on this side. But then we're gonna put a shaft through the top here. Make it just stick out through the side. And then we're gonna take um, a yellow piece. This can actually be one, one shorter if you want to. But I used what I had. 
So just stick that in. I'll take one of these, stick it in like so, put it in. This piece goes on there. Boom. Now take this, slide it on. Take one of these little small pieces and pop that baby on. Now what we want to do is we want to add another piece right there. Okay. I'll take these four reds here and on the front side right here, you're going to want to take another black one, pop that right there, take these, actually you don't, don't do that. Now I'll take this right here and stick that on just like so, do it on the other side, boom. Now the next step here is we want to take these pieces and we want to go on right here. So we need a stud. A stud. And then I always put these in here. And then you can go in here. And then you lock that together like that in the front. Grab another one of these. Boom. So that locks all the front together and makes a nice solid front end. Um, next step, let's, uh, let's put some of the mounting pieces on. Now, this mounting piece is going to be for your shocks. So basically you want a blue and you want one of those longer blues that goes through this black comes out and sticks out right here and that's just like this piece and now this piece just goes right in here and right here is where you attach the shock um, for either front or rear now let's do the same thing on this side we're gonna make the same piece boom just like so and then pop it in huh. sometimes we just said they're done Okay, and now we're gonna take these rear pieces and right back here, right where we put this stick out, we're gonna take these pieces and we're gonna stick them back on. Just like so. Just like so. And that will uh, attach right back in the same spots it does in stock suspension. Now, I think we have one more thing left. We are going to now build the part everybody's been waiting for. This is going to be the locking differential. And if you remember from before, this is, these are the gears that we installed with the extra supports right here. So. Here are the parts we will need. Okay, to make the shaft, you're gonna need the number three right here. Um, this little specialty item right here, it's just a little, um, it just slips on the centerpiece and engages back and forth into this little gear right here and it goes in and out. Um, here are the part numbers for these two pieces. These are going to be the special items you're probably going to have to buy. And then we're going to go three of these. So it makes a... looks just like that. Boom. Boom. Then we put one of these babies on the end. And what we're going to have is we're going to end up with something like this. This. 